Think about the kind of shit you like. I went through a, a horrible breakup at the beginning of this last year, and I thought it was such a low moment. I was like, this is a, such a low in my life. Nothing, nothing positive is going to come out of this, but I did some thinking. And it made me realize so much about myself. It made me think about the standards I wanted to set, but it also made me think about how much I fucking hate being single. This shit is so trash. <laughs> it's so trash. People overhype the fuck out of being single, don't they? Especially the freedom aspect of it. As soon as you're single again, all your friends are like, oh, you can go sleep with whoever you want. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you couldn't before. Why could you now, all of a sudden? Also, that's not even like an appealing factor of being single to me. I don't like, I don't like sleeping with a bunch of different people anyways, because I don't like, yeah, it's not fun. That's not fun, man. I don't. I don't like inconsistent feedback. <laughs> Bro, I can't, my ego can't handle it, dog. I'm too fickle, okay? I need to know where I stand sexually at all times, okay? That's the best part of any long-term relationship. If, you, if you've been together long enough, you probably have pretty good sexual chemistry. That's why you stuck around. You like what they like, they like what you like, meshes pretty well. The relationship that I ended earlier this year, that was the best part about it. We stayed together months after we should have just because we had that sexual chemistry. It's, it's, a, it's a hard spark to walk away from. It's fun, makes you feel good about yourself. You know, I, I was getting my ego stroke daily. Like, how, how the fuck you walk away from that? It's so much fun.